Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step how to change the style of multiple elements on hover or click in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing we need to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Next, we're going to give this page a name. Of course, you can name it whatever you want, or you can use this design on an existing page. So I'm just going to call this design, click on use Divi Builder. Right. So for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. But of course, as I mentioned, you can add this to an existing page. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch. And then I'm going to choose my uh, columns and we're going to go with these two columns. All right. So the next step is we're going to come over here to our section settings, click on design, then dividers. So here we're going to choose our divider style. So I'm going to click on this drop down and scroll down here and choose my style, which is going to be this one. Next, I'm going to choose my color and I'm going to set this to white. And my divider height here is going to be 5VW. Next, we're going to come over here to the bottom divider, click here on the divider style, and then I'm going to scroll down here and choose my style. So pretty much we're choosing the style, which is exactly the same as the one I chose earlier on. And then for my divider height, I'm just going to add 5VW and also making sure that my color here is set to white. Now let's head over to the padding. So I'm going to click here on spacing and we are going to set this to 6VW and this is going to be both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to activate this chain. And for now, we're going to save. And then over here, we're going to add an image module. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for my image module and select it. Now it's time to choose our image. So I'm going to click over here. Now the image I'm going to use is this one here. But of course, you can choose any image that you want. And the image size is going to be 800 by 542 pixels. And this is where the size is. Okay, next I'm going to hit upload an image and now you can see my image has been uploaded. Next, we're going to come over here to the design tab, click on alignment and we want to make sure our image is aligned center. And then over here on sizing, we want to make sure it's set to force full width because we don't want to leave any gaps on our image. So now that we've set all this, I'm going to hit save and we're going to duplicate this. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we want to create another image, which is going to be shown on hover. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here, click on this gear icon, and I'm going to change my image. Now, notice that the size of the image is pretty much the same. It's 830 by 553. Now I'm going to hit upload an image. Now, because I uh, duplicated this, it's going to have my alignment in place, which is really, really good. Next, we're going to come over here to advanced click on position. Now here we need to select absolute. Okay. So we want absolute positioning and you can see here that what has changed and making sure that our location here is the top left. Now we're going to come over here to the design tab and over here on the design tab, we're going to go to our image settings, which is where we are now. And we're going to set our opacity. So to do that, we're going to come over here to our filters and our opacity here is at hundred percent. So if we drag this all the way down, it's going to go down to 0%. And this is now going to reveal the image that we have under it. Next, we're going to save. And then now it's time to add our text over here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for our text module and select it. And we're going to start adding our text in here. So I'm just going to paste my text. And this is just going to say anything you want. Now I need to set this to heading three. So I'm just going to highlight it all. Click here on this drop down and set this to heading three. In fact, we can even go ahead and say design anything you want. So the next step now is to customize our font. So we're going to come over here to the design tab, heading text and making sure you choose heading three. We're going to change our font here to monster at, and then we're going to make it ultra bold by clicking here on the font weight. Okay. So now it's set to ultra bold. Next, we're going to set our sizes now for our font. So we're going to come all the way down here and set this to 65. So this is going to be for the desktop and tablet. And if we need to change the views and see what it looks like, we can just cycle between these three. And right now we are in the phone tab. And as you can see, it doesn't look really good. So we need to uh, reduce the size to 40 pixels. Okay. So that's looking much, much better now. 
and over here on the tablet that looks fine okay so now that we've set this the next step now is to head over to the uh, letter spacing so i'm going to go with 0 0.8 Okay, so that's just very slight and we're also going to add a line height of 1.3 all right so pretty much we're done here with our heading i'm going to save this and the next step now is to create another section and in this section we're going to add our button so i'm going to click here on this plus button click on regular single column okay so now it's time to add our button module so i'm going to search for it and here it is great so now that we have our button module and it's selected we are going to type our button text here and we're going to say see after. But of course, you can uh, name your button whatever you want. And don't forget to uh, include your link here. For now, I'm going to add a um, default blank link. And then next, I'm going to come over here to my design tab and I'm going to go into button. Now, in order for us to style this button, we need to activate use custom styles for button. And then now we can go ahead and add all our styles. So we're going to start here with the size, which is going to be 16 pixels. Now the button text color is going to be white. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then for the background, I'm going to add this color right here. So I'm just going to paste my hexadecimal value in here. Now, if you want to use the exact same color that I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link uh, to that in the video description below so you can take a look at the post. Now, the post is also a step-by-step -step process. Okay, so now that I've added my button background color, I also need to add the color that's going to show on hover. And to do that, I'm going to click here on this arrow. Next, I'm going to click on the hover tab, right? And then I'm going to click anywhere in here and paste my color just like that. Great. So now I've added my hover state and you can see once I hover over it, it is now showing. Great. So let's go ahead now and add our button border width. So I'm going to go down here just a little bit and we're going to set this to zero. Okay. Next, we're going to come over here to our button letter spacing. I'm going to set this to four. And we also need to make sure our font is consistent. So we're going to choose monster rat because that's what we used over here. Now for the weight, we're going to set this to semi-bold. We want this to be all caps. Now it's time to go to spacing. In fact, if you want to add an arrow here, you can just add an arrow uh, on hover. But I'm just going to leave that as it is. Uh, the next step now is to uh, head over to spacing. So I'm going to choose spacing. And what we're going to do here is to add a margin of zero to the bottom. And then we're going to add some padding and we're going to set it as 1.5 em right so we're going to apply the same value on the bottom one as well and over here we're going to set this to 4 em and again we're going to apply the same uh, to the right side now notice that i'm just clicking on this chain now this chain allows me to add the same value pretty much on um, both sides whether it's top and bottom or left and right Okay, so now that we have this all set, uh, we also want this to be aligned center. Okay, so we're going to go and align this center. So pretty much we are done here. I am going to save this. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add some CSS uh, classes. So I'm going to come over here to the top section and click here on this gear icon, advanced, CSS ID and classes. And for our CSS class, I'm going to paste it in here. So this is the et change style underscore section okay so if you just want to copy and paste it it's going to be in the post which i'll link to in the show notes below now that we've added that we also need to add a class to our image so i'm going to save this then we're going to come over here to our image settings advanced css id and classes and for the class i'm just going to add it like that now, while we're here, it's important that you add the CSS class to the right image. Okay, so let me just save here and just show you quickly how you would do that. So I'm going to come over here to expand settings and uh, we have this layers icon here. So if we open the top uh, section and then we go into the columns here, you can see we have our images. So our CSS class needs to go here into the first image. So if I click here and then come over here to the advanced, this is ID and classes. This is where it needs to be. Okay. So now we need to add the after. Okay. So we're going to save this and then come over here again and click on the second image. Because remember, we had a transparent one. So now that we're in the settings, I'm going to click advanced, CSS ID and classes. 
and this one here needs to be after okay so make sure you uh, go in and correct that if you uh, if you've uh, named them in a different way all right so now that we've added that I'm going to save it so now we also need to do the same to the text so we're going to come over here and click here on this gear icon to go into our text settings click advanced CSS ID and classes and I'm going to paste my class like that and save next we're going to do the same to the button as well so I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my button settings advanced CSS ID and classes and then I'm going to paste my class in here and save all right so pretty much we have added our classes now we need to add our code module so to add it we're just going to click here on this plus button just after the button and then click on code so now that we have our code module open we are going to paste our jquery code in here like that but notice that this will not work and that is because we are missing our script tags so i'm just going to hit enter here on the top and i'm going to enter it by just typing it like that then the ending i'm just going to cut it and paste it at the end just like that so now that i have this opening and closing tag that means our code is going to work and as you can see here it has disappeared because it was showing here right so the next step is to add our css so i'm just going to paste uh, maybe about three times because my css code is going to uh, come over here at the top so what we're going to do as well is to add our tags first and the tag here is style so i'm going to type it and close the uh, the tag now we can paste our code between those tags so i'm just going to come over here and paste it and now you can see we've added it okay so we have some more css code to add so i'm just going to paste it like that and then paste the rest now as i mentioned before this css code can be found in the post which i'll link to in the show notes below so you can just copy and paste it as i'm doing in this tutorial so now that i've added all my code i'm going to save this publish the page and now we're going to exit the visual builder and take a quick look and see if this is working there we go so you can see now when i hover it is now working so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified when we release new tutorials until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care